A mass pillow fight outside St Paul's Cathedral just shows how Londoners are taking the flash mob phenomenon and running with it. Oh, it was amazing. It was just like being a child. It was just so much fun. It's incredibly liberating to just come into the middle of London and engage in something that I haven't engaged in for, you know, since I was a child. The first big gathering of this type was in New York last year. And soon after, this one saw hundreds swarm into a toy store and feign horror at a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Security didn't know what to do with themselves. Then in August last summer, London got its first flash mob when hundreds turned up at a sofa shop on Tottenham Court Road. They were forbidden from using the letter O when they chatted to each other and then dispersed as quickly as they had arrived. People find out about these gatherings by first registering on the internet. Then they might get sent a text message telling them where or when, maybe forwarded to a website such as this one, or they'll get an email. They are always keen to stress, though, as this email shows, that a flash mob has no message, no political aim or view. It simply is a flash mob. If it has to be anything, then it could only be art or just plain fun.